Mark Meinelson, CEO here, uh, speaking from beautiful, sunny Cote St. Luke, even though it's about four degrees outside. We have a lot to report because we have been so busy, as has Ben Gurion University. So let's get to it. The final chapter in our popular sold out literary series in conversation with Israeli authors is coming your way on April the 11th. The event will feature another outstanding Israeli author, Ayelet Sabari and her memoir, The Art of Leaving. Another we webinar, celebrate Yom HaTzma'ut with us during our upcoming webinar Wednesday event on April 21st. BGU professor Paula Caballo, probably one of the foremost authorities on Ben-Gurion in Israel. She is the director of the Ben-Gurion Research Institute for the study of Israel and Zionism and chair of the Azraeli Center for Israeli Studies. Uh, uh, will be featured and she will be reading from some of the private writings of Ben-Gurion's journals. We also have some big news from Ben-Gurion University who has just announced the establishment of Israel's first school of sustainability and climate change. And this is all part of President Danny Chaimovitz's plan for the future and his striving for excellence. There's been some incredible research coming out of Ben-Gurion recently regarding the British and South African coronavirus variants. The headline of this is that BGU scientists have developed a cheap and rapid test for these two variants, which are proliferating not only in Israel, but certainly throughout Canada as well, as we know from West and East Coast. A huge congratulations to Rabbi Denise Eger, the recipient of an honorary doctorate degree from BGU. In March 2015, Ra uh, Rabbi Eger was appointed president of the Central Conference of American Rabbis, the largest and oldest rabbinical organization of the United States. She is the first openly gay rabbi to hold that position. Just about 10 days ago, BGU signed an agreement with the New Jersey Institute of Technology, which is being dubbed BGU on the Hudson, to establish the Institute for Future Technologies. It will be the first institution in the United States, or I think outside of Israel, to offer a BGU graduate degree. As part of President Danny Chaimovitz's strategic plan for the future, called Our Next 50, a new position has been created called the Pro-Rector for Education. And it will, uh, this position will look into modernizing this position. The, the person uh, who will be filling this position will be looking into the modernization of teaching methods and, and the incorporation of them at BGU as part of their strive for excellence for the next 50 years. I invite all of you to attend our upcoming virtual Board of Governors meeting on Sunday, April the 11th, and I promise it will not be a long one, maximum two hours, to hear Danny speak about this strategic plan for the future. Hot off the press, Ben Gurion has just announced that they will be opening the campus, there are three campuses, on uh, April the 4th to students. However, there will be stringent checks at the gate because a, a what they call a green passport will be required. Um, you, you have to have this green pass, you have to have a, val a valid vaccination certificate, a valid recovery certificate if you were sick with uh, Corona and, and you will be allowed to enter the canvas, the campus and attend classes, lectures, labs, etc. Unfortunately, we in Canada and like Israel, are quite a ways behind. And I know that my wife and I were vaccinated uh, about three weeks ago, and our next vaccination is exactly 110 days after our first. Um, what can I tell you? I hope that everyone who's listening will be vaccinated very soon, first and second. And when we meet again, hopefully in Dubai or the United Arab Emirates on our way to Stebokair in October, we will all be vaccinated, although we still will have to wear masks, but we will be on the way to full recovery. So may I wish you all a moadim simcha, a very chag Pesach Sameach, keep well, keep safe, wear masks, and come join us at the uh, Board of Governors, the Virtual Board of Governors on April the 11th. This is Mark Mendelssohn saying, 
Keep well uh, and Chag Sameach. Thank you very much.